critical it is to go outside of the convention, to go beyond the corporate suites. I mean, if you know how the media works, you see all of the hosts and anchors in their sky boxes. What does that mean at these convention centers, whether they're the Quicken Loans Convention Center in Cleveland, Quicken Loans known for its subprime mortgages that have devastated so many communities, to the Wells Fargo Convention Center here, the arena, and the Wells Fargo known for the same. Only a certain group of people are accredited to go inside, and that's what you get in the media. Democracy Now! works outside the box. We are broadcasting, working with the community television station here in Philadelphia, Philly Cam, honored to be broadcasting here giving voice to the movements on the streets. And let me say, for this first day of the convention, right before the convention, 5,000 people marching against climate change for climate justice, larger than any protest at the Republican convention. It has been quite something just this first day. By the way, happy birthday to Josh Fox. We all have to thank his mother for giving birth to Josh, uh, who helped to give birth to a movement that educated us all. But I really encourage you to tune in to democracynow.org or follow us on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram or Snapchat. However you devour media, make sure people know about Democracy Now! because we are there to give voice to the movements that are erased from the corporate media. That's right, to cover, well, to counter the static that we get in all the media. You know, even though there's high-def television and, uh, oh, digital radio, still all we get is static. That veil of distortion and lies that obfuscate reality. What we need is the media to give us the dictionary definition of static, criticism, opposition, unwanted interference. We need a media that covers power, not covers for power. We need a media that is the fourth estate, not for the state. And we need a media that covers the movements that create static and make history. I see the media as a huge kitchen table that we all sit around and debate and discuss the most important issues of the day. War and peace, life and death, Anything less than that is a disservice to the service men and women of this country who can't have these debates on military bases. They rely on us in civilian society to have the discussions that lead to the decisions about whether they live or die, whether they're sent to kill or be killed. Anything less than that is a disservice to a democratic society. So watch out for Democracy Now! Tell your friends, spread the word. That's how we get news out. We're here with a whole team of amazing people. My colleagues Elizabeth Press and Ariel Boone are here today. We're working to set up our studios. We'll be broadcasting every morning live from 8 to 10, so tune in at democracynow.org. Yeah. Your voices will be heard, and the debates within these movements you are not monolithic either. It is absolutely critical that we hear those discussions, those heated debates within the different movements that propel movements forward. That's what Democracy Now! is here for, to break the sound barrier. I really do think, as I wrap up right now, that those who care about war and peace, those who care about the growing inequality in this country and around the world. Those who care about climate change through the Democratic and Republican conventions were operating under a heat dome. Was climate change ever mentioned on the floor of the Republican convention? And how it, will it be dealt with on the Democratic convention, in the platform there? These are the critical questions we must ask. So those who care about war and peace, those who care about climate change and inequality are not a fringe minority, not even a silent majority, but the silenced majority, silenced by the corporate media, which is why we have to take it back. Democracy now.